Alright, artillery bombardment. Issue an order to all artillery units, so that not just a particular section, all artillery units. Units may move three hexes or battle twice. That's pretty awesome. Close assault. This is when you are adjacent to an enemy. That's the only time you can do close assault. Issue an order to all infantry and or armor units that are adjacent to enemy units. Units ordered battle with one additional dice. That's awesome. They may not move beforehand. They have to already be in that position. They can still take ground or do armor overrun. And it says that on the card. Firefight. Issue an order to four units to open fire. Units in a firefight may not be adjacent to an enemy unit and may not move. Firefighting units may roll one additional die. So you cannot be in close combat with them. You have to be at least one hex away from anyone. Um, however, when they battle, they battle with one additional die. So that's pretty good. Uh, that would be really good for the uh, axis right off the bat because everyone's really far away at the beginning. I'll do counterattack later. Um, behind enemy lines, issue an order to one infantry unit, just one. But he may move three hexes, and he battles with one additional die, and then may move three more hexes. So he could go, you know, into, you know, behind enemy lines, attack someone, and then move back, or move behind, or something like that. So, pretty awesome. Dig in. It's in order to four in, uh, infantry units. The units improve their position by placing available sandbags on the unit's hexes. So they do not get to move, they do not get to attack, but they get to put sandbags behind them, and sandbags are pretty useful. Move out. Issue an order to four infantry units, uh, so it's very similar to the infantry assault. There's uh, infantry assault, I believe they, get, they got one more die, so, I mean, it says it all on there. Um, barrage is a fun one. Target any one in enemy unit. Roll four battle dice, ignoring any terrain battle reduction. Score one hit on each dice matching the unit symbol or grenade for each flag. Retreat one hex, just like normal. And flags may not be ignored. So if you use barrage on a dude that is on a sandbag or village or bunker, um, you ignore the terrain battle dice reduction. So you would just hit them like normal as if they weren't in a bunker. And flags may not be ignored. So if they got flags, they'd have to retreat anyway. This specifically, just you use it, and it just you just choose one. It's like there's a barrage from way off the board, so you don't actually have to have any artillery. Allies could use this card. They don't need, just think of them as uh, the battleships are firing into the area. Someone from miles away is attacking with howitzers. Um, air power is kind of similar to that, where you don't actually have any airplanes. There is an expansion for airplanes. I don't actually know it that well. Uh, target a group of four, four or fewer enemies adjacent to each other. Roll two battle dice per hex uh, for the allies, one per hex for the axis because the allies have better uh, uh, airplanes. So if the axis got that card, they could go, oh, okay, three units that are all adjacent to each other, one, two, three. And it could even be like, uh, if they were in a row, you could be like one, two, three, or you know, four even. Um, so you, they would roll one dice for him, one dice for him, one dice for him. So, and he would do it separately so you know. So he'd roll one dice, oh, okay, I missed. One dice, oh, I hit. One dice, oh, he retreats, so he loses a guy. Axis would get two for each one. Um, so, that's that. For this section, I'm going to explain um, every single card that is not similar to the ones that I explained earlier of just, you know, attack on, on one side or the other. Uh, I will make a quick note. Pincer move is a little bit confusing. Issue an order to two units on the left flank and two on the right. So you could do two dudes here, two dudes there. You may not uh, do like, oh, one dude here and three dudes there. No, two and two. If you don't have two, too bad. You just, you know, then you only go to shoot a one or something. Um, all right. So here's all of them, and I'll go over them as quickly as possible. I showed you armor assault, and I explained that one. Infantry assault is the exact same idea. It's an issue in order of, to all. Oh, this one's an issue in order to all infantry units in one section. So you would choose left, center, or right, and issue in order to all of the infantry in that area. Units may move up to two hexes and still battle, or move three hexes and not battle. So that's different. That's uh, it's pretty awesome actually. Um, you can move them even more than normal. Let's just go ahead and go. Uh, Medics and mechanics. Issue an order to one unit that has suffered casualties. Roll a battle die, which is your normal die, uh, for each command card you have. 
So, oh, I have five command cards, so I'm going to so I'm going to do that. And it says including this card, so you count this card as one of the uh, ones you're counting. So you roll so many, you roll you know five battle die, um, and for each one matching that unit symbol, or if you get a star, one lost figure may be returned to duty. Uh, in other words, if you had only two infantry guys on a on a hex, and you roll three men, cool, you get to get two more men there. You don't get three because there's only four to a squad. Uh, it does kind of say that on the card. So if I just did their finest hour, I, and that was the axis, I would play all. I would roll all five dice. I'd be able to control. I'd be able to issue an order to. That's basically a miss. It's not anything. I'd be able to issue an order to three infantry units of my choice. If I had rolled a star, I could have chosen anything. I still might choose an infantry, but I might choose some of my artillery. I don't know. And uh, so let's say the Axis player did that and did his turn, and then the Allied player goes, you know what? Counterattack. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna roll. Full, basically, I'm using the same card, but I'm, I'm rolling four dice because I only have four command cards. And then you know, that's nothing. That's a tank of my choice, a unit of my choice, and then I, the other one rolled off the table, uh, and then an infantry of my choice. So that's those cards. Ambush is a fun one because you can actually play it out of turn. Ambush is after your opponent declares a close assault, meaning there uh, he has a unit adjacent to yours and he's going to attack him. Um, but before he actually rolls his dice, you play this card and you ambush him. You roll your battle dice first. And if the unit is not destroyed, then they can do their turn like normal. But you might even just kill them just for doing that. And at the end of the turn, you get to draw a command card. Ambush, always a good one to use the moment you can. Counterattack is another one, uh, another interesting one. Issue the same order just played by your opponent. Now, the rest of this text is important. When countering a section card, a right section becomes the equivalent of left section. Meaning, on the board, if uh, if the allies had said move all the units in the right flank, for the allied player this is the right flank. If you if the Axis player on his turn did a counter attack, it would still be this flank. So think of it as you get to move units in whatever flank they did. Uh, the exact the battle will happen in the same area. And then this is the last special, their finest hour. Roll one battle die for each command card you have. For allies it'd be four, for axis it'd be five, for this specific, for Omaha Beach. Um, for each unit symbol rolled, uh, one unit of this type is ordered. For each star rolled, one unit of your choice is ordered. Order units battle with one additional dice. Reshuffle the deck and discard piles. After playing this, you would reshuffle the entire pile, including this card. So, you would roll, uh, so let's say the Axis got to do it, they would roll f five dice. Here, let me just...